What's up guys, it's your boy Chance back with another inspirational vlog for today and today I actually got my first piece of sponsorship from Bibles of America. They were super cool enough to actually send me out this, the New Testament um, recovery version. And today I wanted to speak upon something that a lot of us don't really have anymore. Especially when we're in those dark places and, you know, we're thinking about suicide, you know, we're depressed, you know, and we're going through those phases. And I know what that's like because I get like that a lot. I mean, I know from experience because I come from a background of being in mentally abusive and verbally abusive and just really downgrading, you know, relationships throughout my life. My first girlfriend of about seven years, um, she basically cheated on me, lied to me. And when I left her, that's when things got really bad. Um, after that, I came across this other girl that I was really good friends with before that. Um, me and her dated for about four years. And she basically you know, downgraded me. She belittled me. She mentally and verbally abused me to where I felt like I was trapped, like I couldn't do any better. I had literally lost faith. Like, it got to the point to where I lost faith in God. I lost faith in everything. Like, that's how bad she brought me down. She made me feel like I couldn't do any better. She made me feel like and she was the best I can do. And she would constantly do that to me on a daily basis. And that continued for four years. And it came to the point to where I was losing family. I was losing friends. Um, and at one point, I honestly, I wanted to end my life. I really wanted to end everything. And I hated it. I hated who I was. I hated my life. I hated everything about it. But I want to share a scripture with you out of this. I was actually reading earlier after I got this. I was flipping through and I came across a scripture that does talk about keeping the faith. So with that being said, let's read it here. It's um, Peter 21 or Peter Acts 21. Who through him believes into God, who raised him from the dead, and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God, since you have purified your souls by your by your obedience to the truth unto unto unfeigned Yeah, unto unfeigned brotherly love. Love one another from a pure heart. Um, from a pure heart fervently. Having been regenerated of not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible through the living and abiding the word of God. And what that means is basically, you know, if you are going through those tough times, if you are, you know, being belittled, being downgraded, you know, being mentally or verbally abused and just in an all around toxic situation and you don't know how to get out of it, there is a way out of it. And let me tell you, suicide is not the answer. I myself am a survivor and a victim of suicide. I've attempted it on multiple occasions. Um, I tried hanging myself. I tried overdosing on pills. Um, I actually have a scar on my arm right here. 
I don't know if you guys will see it, but this is where I actually tried to, you know, cut myself and end my own life because I was in a deep state of depression. I don't know if you guys can see right there. There's like a little white line that kind of, you know, falls down. I don't know if you can see it, but I've got those. I have another scar right in there. So I know what it's like to be on the edge of feeling alone. And the truth is, you're never really alone. No matter what you're going through, no matter if you're going through a divorce, no matter if, you know, you're being mentally or verbally abused and you feel like you can't take it anymore. Let me tell you something. Suicide and ending everything is never the answer. If you are feeling like that, turn to God. God can help you. He saved my life. And let me tell you something. I never used to read the Bible at all. I hated it. Didn't want nothing to do with it because it was always being shoved down my throat as a kid. You know, I couldn't stand it. And, you know, and even if you don't read the Bible and you don't believe in God, that's totally fine. You know, if you don't, you know, believe in God or the Bible, I want you to turn to somebody that you can trust. You know, call up a friend. If you feel like you want to end your life, call a friend. You know, don't take your own life. Reach out to somebody that you trust. Somebody that you know that you can talk to. And even if you don't feel like you have anybody... Reach out to someone anyway. Reach out to a stranger that you know is willing to listen. Because like I said, I know what it's like to be on the receiving end of being mentally and verbally abused. I know what it's like to be on the edge of suicide. I know what it's like to be in that dark place where you feel like you can't come back from it. Because I was there for seven plus years of my life and... That's the worst place you can ever be. But I promise you, and I make this promise as a survivor of suicide and as of somebody that knows what to do. If you can find that one good thing, that one good thing that can keep you going, hang on to that. Don't let that go for nothing. Because that one thing that you hang on to will get you out of that situation. And you will be better from it. Eventually, you will be able to escape whatever situation you're going through. And if you are being, you know, mentally or verbally abused, you know, reach out. There are, you know, hotlines that you can contact. There are websites that you can contact, like the half of us dot org. Um, you know, they will help you. And if you are being bullied to that point, I want you to know that you're not alone because I've been bullied too my entire life. And I want you to know that there is help out there. You just got to stay strong. And if you feel like ending your life, don't. Because let me tell you something, when you end your life, you're not only ending your life, you're not only killing yourself, but you're killing those around you. You're not only hurting yourself, but you're hurting everybody that you love and care about. When you kill yourself, you're taking away from your family. You're taking away from those that love you. And I know what you're thinking. You know, like there's no hope left. Yes, there is. There is always hope. You just got to reach out. You know, don't be afraid to open up to somebody and be like, hey, this is what I'm going through. Can you help me? I know it's scary. I know it's, I know how terrifying it is to reach out 
and how crazy he might sound doing it. But you know what? It's better to sound crazy and to reach out for help than to hold it in. Because holding it is what's ultimately going to lead you to suicide. Yeah, it may not be your fault that you got there. And I agree, a lot of times it's not. A lot of times it's the bullying. A lot of times it's the hatred. It's the hate speech. A lot of the time it's the verbal and mental abuse that we face every day. And I'm not blaming you for any of that because that's not your fault. Nobody deserves to be mentally or verbally abused or brought down for that matter or picked on or bullied at all. And I want you guys to know that there is help out there. There is very real help. And all you gotta do is just reach out to somebody, reach out to a friend, reach out to a, a fan of your favorite band, reach out to their community, reach out to somebody that you know and trust that can help you. Yeah, shrinks might not always do the trick, but sometimes they do. Counselors, a lot of the times they do work. The counselor I had was so amazing. But if you don't have that option to see a counselor, I want you to turn to somebody. You know, turn to somebody that you trust. Turn to somebody that you can talk to. And I want you guys to know that you are not alone in this fight. Because every day I wake up, I deal with suicide. I deal with depression. I deal with hatred. And it's not easy. Let me tell you something. Dealing with that is not an easy task at all. It's one of the hardest things that anybody can deal with is being mentally or verbally abused. That's one of the most hurtful things ever. And it's not easy to escape from, but it is possible. It's very possible. And if you are going through that situation, don't hesitate to reach out. There is help out there that you can, you know, use. Because like I said, I've been a victim of mental and verbal abuse for seven years. Seven plus years. Ladies, guys, I want you all to know that I love you guys. And I'm here to help you and that I am not going anywhere. Oh, pardon me. But I want you to know that I'm not going anywhere. And that I am here to help you. I am here to help you be the best version of yourself that you can be. And if you are going through mental or verbal abuse, don't stay quiet. Speak up. Say something. Let your voice be heard. Because unless you speak up and say something, that mental and verbal abuse is just going to continue on in an endless cycle and you're never going to be able to escape. But if you speak up and say something to somebody, you have just taken the first step into escaping that. You have taken the first step into pulling yourself away from that demonic, evil, you know, thing that you're dealing with. And if you are thinking about suicide because of all this, 
put down that knife, put down that rope, put down whatever you're thinking about killing yourself with, and reach out to somebody. Let somebody know what's going on. Don't stay quiet. Talk to somebody. Because all being quiet is going to do is going to get you killed. And you don't deserve to die. You are a wonderful, beautiful, amazing person. And you don't deserve to die. You deserve to have a life. And I know you might be feeling like you're on the edge. I've been there. And you're right, it's not fair. Where you're at is not fair at all. You feel like the whole world's against you. You feel like, you know, you can't really go anywhere. You feel like, you know, it's the end of everything. Like you're just better off dead. Well, I'm going to tell you that's not the answer and that's not the case. What you're going through is temporary. The feelings that you feel, and that depression, that's temporary. Fight that. Fight that by speaking up. Talk to a friend. Talk to somebody that you trust. Don't let the suicide get the better of you because there is hope. There is help out there. I want to tell you something, you might not think that God hears you, but trust me, He does. He hears and sees what you're going through. And He wants to do all He can to help you. You are not alone in this fight. You got God in your corner and you got me in your corner. And if you are going through suicide or depression or, you know, mental or verbal abuse, reach out to me. Speak to me. Speak to one of you know one of my subscribers. Talk to somebody that you know and trust. We are here to help you, and we all love you. You are beautiful. You are wonderful. You are kind. You are caring. You're an all-around amazing person, and don't let anybody, and I mean anybody, tell you any different. Because you are one of a kind, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are, you're all around incredible. You are the best thing that ever happened in this world. I know it might not seem like it now, but trust me. When you put down that knife or that gun or those pills and you step back and you see what you're doing and you get better from that, I guarantee you in five years from now, you'll feel much better. You'll look back on today five years from now and be like, wow, like, I never thought I'd be here. Like I said, I myself am a survivor of suicide. I have attempted it multiple times. And it's not an easy thing to deal with. It's not an easy thing to live with. But you know what? It's worth it. Living your life is worth it. Don't throw your life away. Keep staying strong. Because I want to tell you, you're not in this battle alone. Not only am I riding with you, not only will I give you strength, but so will God. Turn to God. Talk to Him as if you're a friend. Reach out to Him. Reach out to somebody that you know, that you trust. But with that being said, guys, I wish you guys the best wherever you are. I hope that my video was able to help you guys, you know, escape and, you know, realize what you're going through is only temporary and that you can escape it. And I hope I was able to help at least one of you. Because if I've helped one of you, I've done my job. But with that being said, guys, this has been your one chance with the Daily Inspirational Vlogs. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did make it to the end of this video, slap that thumbs up button down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. And once again, shout out to Bibles of America for hooking me up with the New Testament recovery version of the Bible. You guys are amazing. If you've not checked them out, check them out. 
Like, they're very good. But with that being said, I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog, man. Peace. Love. Respect. And be good to each other. And love yourself. And love those around you.